The next grammar point is the subjunctive mood. We are taking the subjunctive mood right after the future tense because the subjunctive form of the verb can be easily derived from the future tense. The subjunctive mood expresses a request, a command, a wish, or a desire. The best way to understand the use of subjunctive is through its functions. Let's first learn how to make the subjunctive forms. The subjunctive is formed by dropping the ending ga, ge, gi from the future tense. Here's the table for the subjunctive forms. We'll take two verbs, likhna to write, sona to sleep as examples to make subjunctive forms. Likhna has the consonant ending root and sona has the vowel ending root. For the subject ma, I, the ending is um. Um. You can either add the ending um um to make it likhun or you can delete the ending ga from the future tense form likhunga. So likhunga without ga is likhun. And for the verb sona, sleep, it is son. So to make subjunctive forms, you either add the endings to the root of the verbs or remove the ending ga, ge, gi from the future tense forms. Either way, you will get the same form. For tu, you as singular, it is likhe and soe. For wo, ye, that is he, she and it, the third person singular, it is likhe and soe. Let's now take the plural forms. For hum, the ending is e. So the subjective form is likhe and soe. For tum, o is the ending. The subjective forms are likho and so. For up, likhe and soe. And for ve, ye, de, the ending is e. The subjective forms are likhe and soe. Let's now go through the functions of the subjunctive. The subjunctive can be used in place of imperative to express a request. This gives the request an extra nuance of politeness and courtesy. Aap aisa kare. Would you please do this? Would you mind doing this? The next one. Aap TV dekhe, main chai banata hoon. You please watch television. I will make tea. Aap chale, main a raha hoon. You please go ahead. I am coming. The subjunctive can also be used to make some types of questions. This type of questions in English are made with the words should, shall, or may. For example, what shall I do? Main kya karun? What shall I do? Wo kahan jaye? Where should he go? Hum kaun se film dekhe? Which film shall we watch? Kya main kuch kahun? Shall I say something? Kya hum ghumne chale? Shall we go walking? Kya wo jeevan bhar roye? Should he cry his whole life? The word shayad that means maybe or the verb may often take the subjunctive forms in Hindi. Shayad main jau, maybe I go. Shayad wo aaye, he may come. Ek din hum achhi farsi bolein, maybe one day we speak good Persian. Shayad mujhe achha kaam mile, maybe I get a good job. Shayad wo hamari team se khele, maybe he plays for our team. To express wishes and blessing, the subjunctive is commonly used. Badhai ho, congratulations. Janamdin Mubarak ho, happy birthday. The literal translation is, may your birthday be auspicious. Tumhari yatra safal rahe, have a nice trip. Literally, may your travel be successful. Tumhe achhi naukri mile, may you get a good job. The subjunctive can also express a wish or a desire which is usually uttered in a subordinate clause. The subordinate clause is connected with the main clause with the conjunction ki, which means that. Here are some examples. Maabab chahate hain ki unka beta doctor bane. The parents want their son to be a doctor. Meri icha hai ki tum pili kameez pehno. I want, I wish you to wear the yellow shirt. Aap se prathna hai ki aap khane par aayin. I request you that you come for lunch. The subjunctive forms here are in the subordinate clause. Doctor bane, kameez pehno, khane par aayin. 